What's up everybody? Welcome to another Angler X video. In this week's video, I'm out on the Mississippi River, just poking around looking for a bite. And I find one, I find some active channel catfish, but I have light tackle, light spinning tackle and catch some great fish. We also catch a bunch of other species, so check it out. I think you're gonna love this week's video, fishing for channel catfish with light spinning tackle on the Mississippi River. Don't go anywhere. Today's video is brought to you by Liquid Willow Cat. Go to liquidwillowcat.com to see their full product lineup. Good fish. Good smolly. Crack that spinner bait. Nice fish. Just working down a bank here. Got some little bit of current. It's pretty shallow two, three, four feet, and uh, we got some trees down. It's kind of a nice little edge here. That guy's been feeding up, he's got a big belly. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of be doing a bunch of stuff today. I'm on a pool I haven't fished yet this year, so just kind of feeling things out and seeing what I can find. But uh, I'm using this gold spinner bait from Booyah. I got the walleyeplastics.com fluke on there as a trailer and uh, that guy cracked it right under that tree there you well know, guys it looks like I'm getting chased off by some rain here we're gonna go seek shelter and see if this passes Oh my gosh, it just got crushed. Oh. Is this a pike or what? Something giant. There's a pike. Man, did that thing crush. Whew. Saw something chasing minnows out there and there's like a point that comes out with a current seam and a bunch of weeds. I saw him busting out there and I thought maybe it was a bass and threw my frog out there and he just absolutely annihilated it. Taking shelter under this bridge here for the time being. Just trying to stay dry. Looks like this rain is almost done. I got a worm out on the bottom. And I just had that pike out there. Oh, there's some fish around here. Just got these lingering showers in the area. They're kind of just popping up out of nowhere and they don't move real fast. So they dump a lot of rain in one spot. I think this one's just about done. I see blue sky back there. So hopefully we will get back out on the river and out of this bridge here real soon. I was going to bring rain gear with and of course I decided not to. Chance of rain was very, very slight, but I should have known better. All right, I think we can get back to doing what we were going to do here. Fish on. Just switched over to a bobber and a worm, and I just hooked on my first fish. I don't think it's a bluegill. It's fighting pretty good sure what we got here. Bigger fish, whatever it is. Piece for an ultralight. What do we have? I still haven't seen them yet. Looks like catfish. Channel cat. I 
Well, that was fun. Little guy, but good fight on an ultralight. He's not that little. Oh, nice looking fish. Nice and plump. Take that guy back. I guess I was kind of thinking like a bluegill maybe be hanging out by this log, but turns out there's a channel cat. Got a bite. It's nibbling on it. It's shown. Uh oh. Okay, hook something big, guys. Definitely hook something big. Try and get away from the rocks. I only got six pound test here. Might be another catfish. Using my Radcliffe rod today, it's an ultralight rod. Might have to chase this guy down. He's just having his way with me. I just have a tiny jig on with a piece of crawler. I had that bobber set, I don't know, maybe three feet. And I'm in just the slightest little bit of current here. It's coming up to the surface. And I just cast it right off that rock point. Kind of chase them down here. Okay, maybe want to get my net ready. Got a bunch of stuff in my net. Oh boy, it's always something I do after the fact. All right, I got a net. Six pound test, giant fish. Actually, I haven't even seen it yet. It just feels big. Not putting any pressure on it. Really would like to see it. No idea what it is. I got ideas. I'm thinking catfish, just because I caught that one down there. Catfish typically hang around the rocks. I don't think he's giant, it's just giant for this rod. I see my bobber, he's just below the surface now. Close. 
Oh, well, buddy, it's gotta be a catfish. Yep, nice channel cat. Really nice channel. Ah, oh, man, so much fun. Big old channel cat. Oh. In the net. Oh, got him. What a great looking fish. Look at the knobby head on that thing. Holy smokes. An absolute tank of a, of a channel cat. He's not that heavy, but for an ultralight rod, that was quite the fight. Look at the big old head on that thing. Look at that head. Holy smokes. Man, what a powerful fish. These catfish are getting ready to spawn. They should be cranking up. These last two uh, catfish I caught have been in real shallow. Uh, that one was by the log and the other one here was right off this rocky point. So if you guys are looking to get in on some catfish, that might be something to consider. Very little current, uh, six to eight feet of water and log and a rocky point. Just an absolutely awesome fish. So cool. Let's get this guy back in the water. What a cool fish. Here's the setup I got that fish in. Just have a clip on bobber. You can see my bobber stuff, but I just got a clip on. No need for the bobber stuff, but it was on there from before. And there's my my jig head that I'm using with that bobber. Like I said, about it's probably about two and a half feet of line out. But look at that hook. That thing almost straightened out. I can't believe that fish stayed on. That is not what you want for that size of channel cat. But I played that fish out good. This rod handled it wonderfully. Check out Radcliffe rods. I'm just tipping that jig with a little piece of crawler. So I'm still mixing it up, just poking around. Not sure what I'm actually after tonight, just trying a little of everything. And we got a couple bass, we got a couple catfish, got a pike, who knows what's next. Fish, fish on, looks like a bass. Like we may have gotten a bass this time. Oh, we got bluegill. Another species. That's bait right there, boys. That is bait. I'm gonna rig up a little bit heavier rod with just a slightly bigger hook. I'm gonna go to eight pound test. And a little bit bigger jig head. I'm missing some fish, and I think they might be catfish. So, so I'm going to do a slip bobber setup. Just using some pre tied uh, slip bobber knots.
They work really well. Use a 16th ounce Kalen's jig head here. Fish on. Look at that. It's a cat too. On my new setup. And that handled that fish much better. Such a nice looking catfish. That was perfect. That was perfect. This little catfish. That was fun. Beautiful. So that was the first fish on my brand new Radcliffe uh, seven foot two Aspire rod. I just got this rod today. Super excited about it. It's just absolutely beautiful. Look at the wraps on there. Even says Angler X on it. Radcliffe can customize your rod however you want. They make the best custom rods around. Check them out. I'm gonna have fun with this rod. I can tell you that already. There we go. Fish. Good one. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, so much fun on these red cliff reds. This is more like it with this medium light, seven foot two, brand new rod. Putting a bend in it today. This is another catfish. They're good fish and they fight. Absolutely gorgeous fish. This little spot is loaded with these catfish. Other than that big one we got, they have all been all been on the small side, but super fun on this light tackle. There you go guys. Another beautiful channel cat from the Mississippi River. Such a cool fish. Get that guy back. Yeah, bite. Sean. It's Sean. Bluegill. Bluegill City. It appears the bluegills have not spawned. That's a female and she is fat. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Fish. There we go, another bluegill. This one looks like a little better one, giving me a tussle. And a big female. Oofta. How fat she is. Oh, nice bluegill. Get her back. Oh, fish on. Took my eye off that bobber and it was gone. I'm almost, oh, hello. Got another species. 
What do you got? Ah, he broke my line. How's the moon eye? Oh, that's gorgeous. There we go. Bite right off. Fish. That was like another bluegill. Another female. Just plump as can be. Look how big that thing is. Goodness gracious. Fish. Ooh. There's like a big blue go. Oh guys, what a blast catching those catfish on that light spinning tackle. They are so much fun. If you want to get out and get on a bite like this, look for some shallow water with a little bit of current and a little bit of cover like rocks and wood. And you might find some nice channel cats as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and maybe even learned something. Until next time, thanks for watching.